Hey guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and um, I'm doing a voiceover because uh, I worked my way through this package and it was um, all over the place. Um, but this is resin from Miniature Sweet. So this is um, a big haul that I did. I ordered it 17th of September. It arrived the 1st of October, so it took a couple of weeks. It sat with customs for more than a week. Um, so, yeah, it um, customs is not liking letting the resin stuff through by the look of it. Even though it comes through like TNT and that because they're really equipped with customs, but as opposed to just standard Australia Post. <laughs> okay, so as you see, I'm pulling everything out and look at these guys. They package everything. Um, that pink bag that I put to the left, that is the freebies that they packaged up. So they do package up quite a bit of freebies. Okay, the bag is empty. And I'm trying to work out, what do I go first? Um, 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 what do I go first? What's in the box? Mm, look at that later. I saw what was in the box and turned it back upside down. All right, so what I did do is I just went through everything that I received here. Working with the liquid stuff first. So you might hear me. I'm just trying to work the... So this is actually the two-part epoxy resin. So I already use... Um, UV resin and um, normal two-part epoxy resin but I'm going to give this company a go um, epoxy resin kit in crystal clear color it's hard um, now it's got the instructions there okay um, that was actually 17 US dollars so that's that gives you an idea of how expensive resin is um, but I have lots of fun playing with it, so if you're prepared to play, if you want to play. <laughs> okay, also in that resin kit includes the pipettes. It also included a couple of measuring cups. Oh, sorry, it's only one measuring cup. And syringes with no needles. Um, the syringes are so that you can measure stuff correctly and get them even. And put it back in the bag, pack it up back nicely. On that note. I've started sorting out my craft room. I'm working on it. <laughs> I might show some pictures of it one day. Considering it was occupying two rooms. My guest bedroom is now a guest bedroom. But it's in a different room. Anyway. Okay, so battle trying to get that back in. I think I gave up. Just, you know. So what I did order is quite a lot of product. Okay, so that's a two-part epoxy resin. And this one now that I'm opening up is, which one's that? Ah, uh, that's just the clear resin. Um, that one there, that's the fast, no, that's not that one. The UV resin for cabochon, so it's for cabochon doming. Um, so that's ultraviolet, and that is actually a smaller bottle than the two-part epoxy, and that was actually dearer. So just gives you an idea. Um, UV resin is dearer than epoxy resin, uh, two-part epoxy, um, although I am preferring to, preferring to work with two-part epoxy. Now, this one is the one. I've already started using this. I worked with this last night. This is the fast curing liquid mold maker. So this is where you can make your own molds. Um, looking at it going, it, it doesn't make much product, doesn't make much at all. But it, um, it's done what, I, I think it's done what I need it to do. It is still curing. Uh, but yeah, that's where you can make anything that you have. You can put it, put it, put it. In, you pour this around it, and it creates a mold. And then when you demold, you can actually pour your resin into that. Okay, so then I go through and go. What next? 
Okay, so that is the star. That's another shaker mold. Um, and it's funny, I've got a big list of stuff that I brought. So that star of David Bezel mold, is that what that one's called? Um, I've done like the heart and I've done a few others. Now this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is the this has got that this is the heart animals. So uh, animal heart silicon mold. So it's got a bunny rabbit, a bunny, a rat, a cat, bear. So you can see the animal plus they're sitting on top of a heart. So they're absolutely cute, beautiful. I love them. Um, and then I have this one here has a numerous um, molds in it, um, which has a bunny rabbit, kitty cat, bear, animal, apple, fruit, heart, star, bow. So it's quite quite a few different ones in there. The next mold that I'm opening up, I struggled with. He's a little panda, um, and I think he's a, a t like I do him as a shaker mold, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I'll wait until I pour some resin in him and I'll see how he goes. Right, I think that was it for the molds. Yep. Now, this is the embellishments. Well, actually, that's the UV... Um, that's a clear coat. So that's where you put on top of um, uh, uh, on top of your um, pieces, and it adds a bit bit of shine. But now we come to the exciting pit, which is so that first one was a glossy sealer. So now I've got the embellishment mold. So got a range of those. One of them is. Um, Steampunk, so there's the steampunk, the cock, the clock cogs. Um, I've got this one. I think was butterflies and flowers in there. So these go inside shaker molds, but you can also put them on within the resin um, when you are creating your pieces. These are absolutely gorgeous. So I've got two of those, the ones with the flower. Oh. And I'm trying to show you, so but it's like camera just not working. But there's some pretty ones there. Showing the butterfly was stuck to the top. So that's the same one. That's number four. That's the same one. Okay, now this one was the moon and stars. And that one is the steampunk. So they are all actually called nail art charms. Okay, the next one that I get is, I think it is, who's this? Marine Life, I think this one is. I'm trying to work through which one's which. Okay, now, then I've got some just some metal studs in this one. It's in a nice little container. Uh, and one was also... I can't quite remember. Anyway, these are all embellishments. So these will go inside resin molds. There's flowers, there's little stars, there's crosses, there's hearts. Um, and they're just cute little things to add. And you know, we all like cute and shiny bow ties on the left there. They pack their gear so well that it is so well protected. Okay, so here we go. So there's a, yet again, I've got some more stars, but there's some all sorts of different ones in there that um, I don't have, wasn't in the other pack. And then we've got the bezels. So these are where um, I put them to the side because this is what I brought to go inside the bezels. So these are UV resin hard, they are tinted. 
they are transparent. I've got a range of colours there. You just clip the clip the top off the nozzle and pour them into your bezels. Uh, it gets a lot more, lot better accuracy. I'll pack that one up so that's nicely packaged up, and then we go through the bezels. So I got five unicorns. <laughs> I thought that was so cute, so cute. Love them. So I got five of them. Okay, now these are the wands. These are wands. So rabbit, moon. <laughs> I've just gone off stuff holding them all up at once. Here we go. <laughs> One at a time. I'll get them all up so you can see them. So you've got the moon, the hat, the cat, the heart, a star, two different types of stars, and then a little bunny rabbit. So these are all coming through. You know, you buy these as packs of five or six, or you can get by them individually. Um, obviously, in packs, they are work out more economical. So now I've got the Christmas bezels. So all different Christmas ones. And I'm off camera trying to turn these around to show you. <laughs> all right. I'll be back any second. There we go. Christmas stocking, a snowman, snowflake, Christmas bells, reindeer, Santa, gingerbread man, Christmas tree, and the candy cane. So that's uh, the Christmas bag of goodies. Yes, I, I, these guys for for international shipping, you've got to purchase a, above a certain amount. Um, if you actually go on the website, you will see. Uh, what I will do is put the link down to Miniature Suite. So these are more keys. What I'm looking at doing with these bezels is actually, I was hoping that I'd get the magnets inside, but they're not going to fit inside. So what I'm going to have to do is, um, I'll put the rep glue the resin, glue the magnet onto the back with resin. Um, but I will get it so it's nice and smooth and you, it's not even noticeable. And that is the, see, these are more embellishments. Oops, I forgot I had those. And these are the marine life. So you've got turtles, Shells, starfish, and I think that was it. And I'm going to stop. I stop the camera here, and I start again with the stuff that I didn't purchase. So this is miniature suite. This is they give gifts. So depending on how much you spend on what gifts they give you, and in this I've gotten. So I've just shown you the card for them. Um, yeah, and there's this that card. So that's the twice the second time I've received that card with those um coupon codes. So yeah, let's see how we go. Now these tubes, and it takes me a bit to focus for you guys to see. But these have there's bear. I think there's some little teddy bear faces. Hang on, let's focus them. And you can cut them to size to fit inside your. <laughs> I'm trying to get it for you. You do see it, it does focus. But you can cut them. So you can see all the different ones in there. And you can slice them to size and put them in things like shaker molds and decorate stuff. So here we go. Another couple of bezels. Now these can actually, they've, see the top of them, that's a star with a little kitten in it. Uh, another round mould, star mould, 
a leaf that I could probably put on the back of a um, yeah necklace. But the bezels, if you look at the top of them, they have a loop at the top. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so sorry. Um, and you can put chains on them. Okay, so there's just some fillers, some little stuff to go inside. Little beads that just, yeah, they're pretty. Those, I'm looking at those going, I don't know what they're for. I will need to find out what they're for because I've got no idea. Now that is, I can make brooches with those. So you see it's got the pin on the back. I can resin brooches with those. Oh, and another open bezel. Oh, look. We, I don't celebrate Halloween much. We do do Halloween in Australia, but there's not much. Now, this is more of the transparent. I'm just trying to get it on map. There we go. So you can actually see. And these, if I use clear resin, um, I can use all these different designs. So considering um, bezels, those open bezels are generally about 99 cents there you know there's five or six these aren't cheap these these go in inside these are not cheap to purchase um, I'm trying to work out which way is up which way is down um, so little celebratory things your Christmas there's also stuff for Halloween And then your magical stuff, Alice in Wonderland. And a little resin mat. So that's a silicon mat. So I can work the a small area. Um, when I start filming me doing resin work, once I've managed to smooth out all the kinks, um, I'll be able to work on this little mat and I'll get the camera to just focus on what's on that mat. Um... So yeah, hopefully you've liked this little miniature haul. It has been um, an interesting haul. Took me a while to select what I wanted. I did have to spend a certain amount of money to get the pre free international freight. Um, but then spending that extra money got me extra gifts as well. So guys, thank you for uh, joining me for this unboxing. Keep an eye out for these. Some of you guys that are getting the uh, cover minders will see these in your little packages or see some of the open bezels in these packages. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.